Hello fellow commanders and welcome to another Strategic Command World War 2 with me, World at War with me, Bubble Box. So, uh, we had a fantastic turn in the last turn as Prozorka takes his turn after his uh, thrashing in Russia in Barbarossa. To continue to attack Addis Ababa, I mustn't forget to reinforce that unit in there if I can. Getting surrounded now, that will go down eventually of course. Got to hold on. Um, Looks like he's pulling back. He's just trying to hold on to Al Agalia. Rearranging some of his Russian units. Pushing into Johenshu in the Finland, but we've got we've got a unit up there in Kajani. Should stop that depending on what that unit that should stop a core. So it's just a single unit. We should be able to stop that there. Oh no, our subs have been found by the aircraft carrier. Oh actually I think it bumped into them, so it can still take a shot. Oh, we got lucky. We did get lucky there. One health and it didn't get destroyed. Very lucky. Wow. Okay, looks like he's just been reorganizing units then. So USSR transferred industry from the Ukraine to the Urals. Um, little town captured. Bit of damage done to the British economy. UK starts Arctic convoys to the USSR. That's via um, a Manx and Arct Angel, I think. If we could take those, we would stop that. Um, Lampo distribution, that's done, and that's it really. USA getting a bit, little bit concerned. Just get some uh, reports on units in and around the world. Okay, okay. Ooh, hello, Zukov's there. Where was Zukov? That's interesting because he he does spawn over near Japan. So if he's been moved, that's quite interesting. Got a, got a sub and another tactical bomber and some paratroops for the Japanese. Where was Zhukov? Okay, he's there. I think he's kind of moving across. I think that aircraft has moved as well. I think that spawns down here somewhere. So he is moving some of his probably better units and just leaving a few units to defend over here. Over here. I'm sure there was a unit on Blagovetsky, whatever that says. Or somewhere around here, there was definitely a there was definitely a unit on one of those for sure. So we might think about doing something with the Japanese against the Russians as well. Maybe we'll see. Maybe not this early, but first of all, let's try to just try to save these units over here. Now it's got this bloody carrier, which is being a pain, and we've got to get away from it. Now he probably expects us to go to either Trondheim or Bergen. Now if I can get to Oslo, that would be ideal, and I'm going to take a chance just to. I can't. I can get to Christian Sand. I'm going to try and get into Christian Sand with this sub this turn. Oh no, enemy contact. I'm going to lose it. Going to lose it. Can't even see. Can't move the map. Oh, we survived. We survived. Okay, interesting. Um, kind of interesting. Just means we're probably going to die next turn. Move that. And this one, we're going to move up to the north can't actually get it into Narvik but I'm going to move it up there because he probably expects me to try and take it into Trondheim. I'm just going to take it into Trondheim. No I'm not. I'm going to move it up north. I want to try and keep it alive so let's move it up to the north to put it into Narvik because I think he is going to expect me to take it over here. We might lose a sub which is going to be a pain because after 19, after during the start of, kind of 1942 we're going to need loads of subs in the Atlantic to try to stop the uh, a build-up of troops, American troops in Britain, because uh, he could bring a load of uh, paratroops across. So in, in the meantime, we've got the Finns and we've got all our German units. Now up here, we're going to be wanting to take Tallinn. So um, we've got a group of units here. We're going to try and take Polotsk, Psok, Tallinn and eventually Narva so we want to start making some inroads up there and we've got to take we've got to take Riga we've got to take Riga this turn can we remove this we might be able to remove it with our army we'll take that shot first so that's Riga down good and we can move through Riga and move forward with that army this army all it can do is kind of move because because that's all it can do uh, it can't reach anywhere we've got this core we could reach Polotsk or Pasok this one we can move up to there or we could take what about this one yeah let's take both of these little towns here 
Oh, actually there's a flipping full army in Polotsk. That's interesting. That was actually there last time, but I thought he might actually have moved that back. That's taken a bit of damage now. Let's take Pasokva. And there's units there as well. Okay, so this is where he's put his best units to defend, obviously, to defend Leningrad. So he's going to be trying to get a bit of a choke point along here to stop us moving. Um, I hope I can surround Tallinn. I'm going to move up reasonably carefully with this tank. don't really want to bump into it. Oh, is that as far as I can go? Oh, I have actually surround Tallinn, so that's cool. Because this tank isn't the best, as you can see. It is not teched up yet. And then all we can do then is just kind of move our armies forward. I'm going to move one into this fort and I'm going to move the other one up into Parnu. Um, and we'll sit there, I guess. We're going to move our leader forward, but not um, not too far forward, but forward. He has got an AA piece up here as well. And then I'm going to try and blockade Tallinn as well, just to try and cut its supply down completely. And we're going to move my sub up to he has got a destroyer somewhere which we might bump into let's give it a go no okay that's fine and then i'm gonna move my two cruisers to i'll move that guy to there i'll move a cruiser to there another cruiser to there and another destroyer there and i'll leave my battleship in hanko just so that we try to take maybe Tallinn in the next turn. Um, that's fine. Let's not go too crazy too fast. Now we have got the uh, Finns here who can do damage, it looks like, already. So let's... Oh no, yeah. Okay, so let's fire this army into this core. Why, why, why um, upgrade them if we can do damage anyway? I'll pull them back and we'll put a core into here. I'll have a little shot and do some damage nice and can we get the other core in we can't but we can move it across there which i think i will do and move this leader up as far as i can okay that's cool a little bit more damage there uh, that's about all i can do we'll leave those uh, it'd be nice actually to get a uh, unit within a square of Mamansk and I'm going to start moving this guy forward because that actually if you can get it within one square I think of Mamansk or two squares it might be then we do cut this supply and it has to go through Archangel Archangelisk or whatever that is but it can only do that in the summer so we'll do that with that little militia oh actually I should have upgraded it first probably we'll upgrade it next time and I'm thinking I could bring forth this guy to help out over there but because of supply we'd to take Mamansk we probably lead, need, will need a leader group so probably not going to take it until we get a leader up there we could try and do that if we manage to get the Swedes in on the action so that's that anyway so let's ju I'm just going to do the south next and then we'll move through um, so let's try and take Odessa I think just attack with this core first or should we bomb first don't really know what's over here might end up getting out of range of the bombers I don't want to waste my bombers like I say I might well, might might end up wasting this Stuka so I'm going to fire the Stuka here first do damage can this Stuka actually reach anything just here I'm going to fire that Stuka into there then I got one more Stuka I could take this for a freebie but I think I'm just going to take it and get some experience for this guy so that's Odessa down and we'll move you into there as well and then I'll use this other Stuka to bomb or this other Stuka to bomb over here and I think we get a look at the extra units yeah we do so we've got a mechanized infantry unit there and another army blocking the way to Sevastopol so let's move this tank we've got this tank we've got two of these guys well, I was thinking of just upgrading this turn to be honest to level two I think I'm going to upgrade these two armies to level two yeah um, but I will move forward here just to look at the strength of this unit a nine and then I can move this guy forward or I can move my tank. 
If I move this guy forward, I can get a view. If I move it forward to there, I can get a view of whatever's in the No, I'm just going to move it to this zone of control here, just on the river. Oh, wow, I'm glad I didn't move it too far forward. Lots of units. Well, I'll take an attack on the cavalry. Okay, and then we'll use our tank just to do a head-on attack. Or we could move up to that direction. Let's see, what have we got over here? Let's move forward this infantry unit just to or this one maybe no this one just to check out what's in Kiev there's gonna be something in Kiev but, let, but what a whole shitload of units okay this looks like where he's got one of his main defensive lines then can we pull that back no we can't okay we've got a little tank there as well so what are we going to do with our tanks then I think I'm going to push into this area here try to maybe finish this cavalry unit off or do some damage to this army Wow, he's got a lot of units down here, actually. Let's do some damage to this cavalry unit. Well, or, or even destroy it. Or even destroy it. Why the hell not? Uh, is this thing dug in? Yeah, he's entrenched quite well, actually. Now, do I attack or do I wait for my planes? Trench three. He's this side of the river. I can't reach him with any other units this turn. Shall I take him down an entrenchment point? No, I think I'm going to just wait. He's fully entrenched anyway. He's not going to get any more entrenched. So I'm just going to leave my tank there, I think. Um, that guy can just stay there. But I will bring forward my leader, I think. As long as I can protect him a bit on the flanks. We've got another Hungarian unit here we can bring forward. Or, or yeah, we'll reinforce. We'll reinforce that guy, I think. The other Hungarian unit's up there. There's another Hungarian unit as well, isn't there? We've got one more Hungarian unit. Maybe I've moved it and I'm not seeing it somewhere. I thought I had two. Oh, well, we'll just move this Hungarian leader to take Vinista, maybe. We need to cover ourselves off, though. Let's kill this, try and kill this militia, this, this guy. Oh, there's the other Hungarian unit back there near the, near the fort. So let's hit that. We'll hit it also with garrison unit and we'll take it with this Hungarian unit. So there's our other Hungarian unit. There's the Hungarian leader. I'm going to move him forward to Tarnopol. Now then, we've got this tank here. We've got all these units. We need to get rid of that tank. What about hitting it with this army? No, can't reach. What about this tank? Is there no control there? Why can't... Really? I can move in from here with a tank. I'm going to move in up to there with this tank, I think. Now, do I hit this one or do we hit this one? I think I'm going to rear hit this one. And then I should be able to bring this army in range now. Why is there a zone of control there? There must be another unit somewhere. Is there? That's really weird. I can move this tank forward now and take a shot. Let's do that with the Italian tank. Two damage. Now can I bring this army forward? Now I can. Okay, let's finish that tank off. So that's Zitamir taken. What are we going to move on to there? We've got this tank back here. Um, we'll move this. This guy has not taken his shot yet, but he can go up there. Anyone who's taking their shot that can move? He has. He can't get to Zitamir though. But I'm going to move him forward on the road. He hasn't taken his shot yet. I'm going to move him up to here. I'll take a shot on this guy in the fort and finish him off. Nice. Okay, I've still got all these units. Um, this one, I'm going to take this chance to upgrade it to a level 2 now. And this one, um, we'll put onto Vinista. Take that. Um, this tank, we'll take Uman. And just sit there for a turn. And then we'll bring forth our Stuka a little bit. Got our fighter up here, which I'm just going to take this chance to upgrade that one as well. Okay. Um, I'd like to bring my leader forward a bit, but I'm not going to... I was a bit gung-ho. Been gung-ho before with my leaders and lost them, so I'm going to be a little bit careful. I'm going to leave him there actually and just bring the Stuka forward to there. Stuka up just to there. 
and this fighter I'm going to upgrade to a level 2. Now before I cast, spend all of the German points I'm just going to make sure we haven't got any research we want to do for the Germans. Indeed we have actually. So we want to put another tick into we've got advanced tanks coming along, advanced fighters, advanced subs, ground attack I think another into there would be pretty damned useful indeed. So that's that. I'm going to leave it at that for now. Try to keep this push going by spending a few more points. So we're okay up here. Now we've got these units over here still. That's just one. We've got tanks and we've got loads of armies back here. So let's move an army up for a bit of an attack first. See if we can take Minsk out of the picture. Can't get that army up. It's just oh bombers, yes. Let's use our Stukas. Oh, we can't even use our Stukas or our bomber. I'm gonna move this Stuka actually up to the north here. And I'm gonna move this bomber up to the north as well. It'll be able to help out and also any ships as well that poke their head. I'm gonna be able to bomb with my planes. Right, we're going to have to use our tanks. These guys aren't going to reach, are they? No, we're going to have to use our tanks. So we're going to have to use this one basically to start with. And I'm going to move to the south. That's not ideal because this tank isn't leveled up. But I'm going to take that shot. And I'm going to take another one as well. Now, can I get around the other side and finish it off? Hopefully. Yep, so that's another army down. He's still got a bit of movement left in him. Oh, no, he hasn't, actually. We can move this guy forward, though, to take a look at um, anything down here. Or we can move up to Orsha. Can I move a unit? Um, I'm just going to move that up to the river. Oh, good job I did. There's another row of units up there. Um... Now, where do we try to hit next? Got this tank here. Do you know what I'm really tempted to do with this tank? Is operate it down into Turkey. Speaking of Turkey, let's just attack here. Bahoom. We've got an army coming up as well. Which, I'm actually going to fast move over there. I won't be able to attack, but I can fast move it. And I'm going to move, I'm going to upgrade this guy to, oh I can't. Just going to attack with him then. We're going to get onto this road. Start to attack these cores over here. Bring the leader a bit closer. And I think I am going to operate this tank. If I've got enough points. He won't have a leader with him. But I'm going to operate him all the way around over. Oh, that's a pain. Hold on a minute. Let's move this plane out of the way. Where's he gone? There he is. Let's operate him all the way over to eastern Turkey. So we've got a bit of a manoeuvrability. We need to try and take these. These oil are worth 30 MPPs each. And there's four of them. That's a lot of MPP. Okay. That's a lot of MPPs. So, ah, right. Maybe we should use the the airborne over here as well. Hmm, no, we'll just push through with tanks, I think. Uh, this tank... It's done. I've just got, it's just all these units. I'm not sure. I don't want to just go and butt my head up against the load. I'd rather try and outflank a little bit. But we've got such an advantage at the moment. I think we will just keep moving them forward. I was just thinking I could operate some more units. Let's operate one of these cores as well. Yeah, down to... Turkey. Yeah, so it's a core and a tank just to try and get these oil fields. In fact, I'm thinking of doing a fairly big push down there now, thinking about it. I'm thinking of even sending a commander. How many units have I got down here now? Two German units. If I sent another... If I sent some more... I mean, the thing is, if I send cores, they can sort of run around the place and create havoc. So I'm going to send another core. Let's operate another core. Oh, no, he's moved. Next turn. Next turn. OK, let's just keep moving forward a bit. We'll move forward here just to check out their strength. Only five. Oh, wow. 
Okay, maybe these are quite weak then. Let's pull him. If I, I'll pull him back if I can put another one in his place, which I just can't manage to do. So I'll leave him that side of the river. We'll move this guy forward. Maybe they're quite weak actually, so we will move forward here. Move him forward. This one we will take the chance to reinforce. We'll move our. I'm going to move my flyers up towards the north. I think this guy can move a little bit closer. This guy can definitely move closer. This one I'm going to upgrade to level two infantry. And that is that, I think, for the Germans. I think that'll do. Good, goodish turn, goodish turn. Let's just check out. Done all the Atlantic, haven't I? Yeah, let's do the Med and Africa. So they've pulled back into Al Agil. Or oh, before that, let's just make sure we reinforce this because I will forget. Oh, I can't actually. I can upgrade this guy though to infantry level two and he's going to be able to get dug in for a few more turns right now then here I'm tempted just to pop down and have a look what's in Benghazi army okay what's over here not a whole friggin lot and then we'll just interdict there I want to reinforce this sub. And these guys. This one's only on supply five, so I'm going to send that back to get resupplied. And I'll leave the two Italian ones interdicting. Italian units. Let's get a few extra points off the Brits. And then we'll continue forward with our tank. Um, I do a bit of damage then we'll be able to get three units on let's see oh wow whoa 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 i thought he pulled all those back now he hasn't he's just set up another line of defense but we can do that tank now five damage can i get any support from aircraft or are they too far away and get an attack there which will do me damage yeah not really let's just hit this tank then if i can do five damage that would be amazing and i'm going to get another shot wow can i kill this off oh he's moved bugger Let's hit these guys then. This tank's pretty awesome and I can still in, I can still increase promote it another level yet. Um can we do damage now? Still no. Is that dug in at all? It's not, so it's not really worth medium bombing it really. So let's move our infantry forward. And do a little bit more damage. They're quite resilient, those special forces. Um can I upgrade? Yeah, let's upgrade to level two infantry. Um, let's bring the artillery forward. At least they can support the infantry there. I'm gonna now. I'm gonna reinforce this guy. I think to max. We'll move our infantry guy forward, and we'll move Rommel onto the road. And we'll just sneak up our bombers a little bit with our fighter which I'm going to um, just move up to the road, I think. That'll do. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, we're just going to get ready as well over here because eventually we're going to want to attack uh, Greece. And we have got level two infantry now. Let's get them all down into there. We've also got this guy over here. We've got these guys. We haven't got any armies or tanks, though, so it might be a bit of a grind unless we get some a tank or two down there. And we'll get this guy down. Oh, hang on, have I just moved off of a partisan spot? Frig me, I have. What a friggin' idiot. I moved off a partisan spot. Shit. Shit. That's okay, no panic. I can move this guy there. No panic. Okay, now something else I could do is send units across, but as you can see, he's actually guarded that. Whether he's got a unit, he's probably got a unit on Krasnodar as well. We've got Sevastopol, it's an absolute beast to get through. Um, what else can we do? What else? What else? What else? I think that's all we're going to do there for the Italians. I'm fairly happy the Italians are gradually recovering with the help of the Germans after their terrible start, losing all their fleet as well. 
Yeah, I think that's about it for the Germans and the Italians, but we can now do some research for the Italians. Um, Italians, where am I going? Um, maybe get another ticket to spine intelligence or no, let's get um, now. Were we going to go subs with them or were we going to go? I think we were thinking of going. We we'll either need to go planes or subs with the Italians. I mean, we could go subs and let the Amer Germans do the do the planes, or we could go planes and let the Germans do the subs. Hmm. As we've already got some points in planes, we'll go planes and let's just work on. Let's work on defenses for the Italians. Let's work on fighters to start with. And work on offense for the Germans. Let's head over to China. Sorry, the turns are getting a bit long, but I just want to make sure, take my time and make sure I'm getting everything correct. Or as correct as I can. Let's see now. Can we crush another unit or two? He's pulled out of Ai Chang. Look, we've got that. That's a freebie. Now then, which unit are we going to attack next? This one's looking weak here. And I can get a unit onto that zone of control. So let's medium bomb this guy first. And I, yeah, let's medium bomb him first. This medium bomber's turning into a beast as well. Could do with another fighter actually over in Japan uh, China quite soon come on oh didn't even take him down now I've got this guy um, let's hit this over here it's just doing some um, industrial damage and supply damage as well I think by the way and then we've got our tactical bombers which we shall hit with wherever we can Hmm, might be worth doing an up. Can I upgrade? We've not got got long range aircraft. Don't want to really be spending money on that yet. Let's just bomb into there. So we might get lucky. We don't. Can we reinforce? No. No, nah, no. Nah. Why can't I reinforce? Are we not in supply or what? We're in nine supply. So why can't I reinforce if I'm in nine supply? That bugs me. Okay, let's do some attacks then. We'll attack here first. Four damage. Oh, beautiful. And we'll move him out onto the road. Move this one up. Another unit down and an industrial centre to boot. Can we you move a nice unit onto there? We can. Okay, this is all looking very good now. He's running out of units around Chongqing. We'll soon be getting the... Uh, the communists involved as well. Three damage there. Um, two damage there. Let's take that first. Okay. Can we move another unit forward? We can move this guy up. Let's see. Oh, that's not so good. I'm going to pull that one right back. Move that one into there. One damage. And I think... I'll take the three damage against the militia here. Just do two. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's bring this guy into the... Move that guy up to there. Bring this guy up into the battle now and move our commander a little bit more forward. Make sure we're not leaving any partisans behind us. Right, that's another couple of units out of the way. Now we've got Ai Chang, but we need to move as far forward as we can to see what they're plonked in here so I could move that guy or I could move let's just see if we could do any more damage up here first let's hit this one and then we'll go in with our army there's that bloody artillery again two damage hmm hmm take I'll take the shot anyway Oh, okay, that's good. And I'm going to move him just back to there. And I'm going to move this army in there. For another damage. Um, I'm actually going to start moving down this road here. So we're going to move up through Ichang. Don't see... Oh, so there is an army in there. Okay, that's what I really wanted to see. I've still got these guys here. Which... 
I'm going to pull those back and I'm going to just take one more little shot up here and does one more damage. That's quite nice. And then we'll leave that guy in there. Uh, that's that done. And uh, now then, what about up here? This guy is well dug in, isn't he? Three entrenchments. We need to actually move further north to do some damage to these guys, I think. That's where we want to be. So let's actually take a shot. Here. Now let's move. That tank, none of these are really weak. I want to get my armies in here. So let's get this army in to de-entrench some of these guys. Let's try and de-entrench this guy first. I know we're going to take a little bit of damage. Let's swap these. Okay, that's getting his entrenchment down, doing him a little bit of damage. Let's see what his entrenchment is. Zero now. Okay, can we do some damage here now? No, still not really. We're level two, and that's level one. There's no river. Hmm, interesting. We could take Yanku. That would piss the Chinese communists off. And where are all these partisans? We've got a partisan group there. Still covered, partisan-wise. Um, shall I take Yanku? I'm going to take Yanku. Yeah, whack up there, take Yanku. I'm going to just reinforce this little militia. Garrison, sorry. And then, oh, we can still do damage here. Probably want to do damage more to this army than anything else. So we're going to hit the army. Ow, oh, what a pain in the Aris. Aris. And I'm going to give this an elite reinforcement. Thus, okay, that's it. Okay, we've still got 339 points for the Japanese. Um... Going to move up and have a peek. Have a peek up here. See what's going on. Have a peek into Biro Bizan. See what's happening in there. There is a unit in there. That's fine. That's all I wanted to see. Just to check that out. And we'll leave that guy there. Now, also, I want to start getting the units ready here. Because otherwise we're just going to leave it too late and we need to get our units over. I want to try and take Midway and all these islands in one fell swoop. And of course kill any of the units that are in Honolulu. And also watch out for those British... Um, let's just move this guy over towards here. Because I want to just check out what they've got on Wake Island first. Nothing. Okay. Yeah, I want to check out um, where the British bloody um, carriers are. I'm really worried about that. Where are they going to come if they come? Are they going to come up through here, the Timor Sea, maybe? Let's let's just get let's get this guy back over here, just to block them as they come up from the south up near Australia somewhere. When we when the outbreak when we break war when we break wind when we break war against uh, the Americans, let's get these guys into port so that we can over here so that we can upgrade them in the next turn. So we're going to put all these into ports over here. Got to be careful not to cross that line. So put that one into there. Boom, and then we'll upgrade all these very soon. A couple down here because they're being upgraded and not reinforced we don't have to have them on a home base to get them up to max so put them in there so they're ready to be re uh, upgraded um, I want to make sure these are these are fully we can get elite reinforcements on this carrier so we're going to do that we can also get reinforcements on these aircraft so let's do that while we're on home base and reinforcements to this carrier. Um, don't need to do upgrades, just reinforcements at the moment. Reinforce aircraft. That's all of that done. Uh, I might leave one battleship down here for Manila. So we'll keep that in port. I'd like to keep these guys around to check for 
subs. So I'll just leave them where they are, I think, for the moment. Oh, and we've got this tactical bomber I've completely forgot about. We need to fly that over to help out against China. How many points have I got left? 166. Do we need to do any research? Yes, we do, really. Um, anything need to be done urgently? Uh, Anti-submarine. Anti-submarine, maybe. Advanced fighters. Another one into that, maybe. Or we start moving our units across. I'm going to start moving some units. So let's get... Oh, where am I going? Where am I going? Let's start getting... Oh, hold on. We've got another militia unit here. Oh, hold on. I've got some new units to put down as well. I've got these guys. Which I'm going to put down over there. And I've actually got some more units for the Germans I completely forgot about. So let's get those down as well. Um, yeah, okay, another Stuka, which we're going to put up the north here as well. And then another sub, which we're going to put, just to make sure we can take out this Russian fleet, we're going to put over here this turn. And then we've got some for the... Oops. Oh, I thought I had some. No, I haven't. Okay, back over here, back over here. Sorry, I'm, I'm confusing myself. Yeah, we've got a unit here. Do we need it on the mainland? <gasps> oh my god, I've moved off there. Shit. And there's a partisan. That, I missed that. I missed that. Okay, can we cover that with anything? That doesn't need one on. We don't want people popping up. So let's move that over to there. Move that over to there. And move that over to there. I don't want units popping up where they shouldn't be. And I'm going to just move this one across on a transport real quick so that we can use it over here in the next turn still got a few points I'm just thinking maybe starting to get these um, units to the islands where I want them we want, to, want one over near Wake Island and I want one over near Midway <coughs> so I could start to move those um, probably use these guys for that because we're not going to be attacking down here right at the start. We're going to be attacking the islands, Wake, Midway, over here and over here as well. So let's start that process off, I guess. So we'll, I'm not going to do long range. I'm just going to do normal amphibious. Then we won't have to spend too many points on this because they do get expensive. In fact, I don't have to do this this turn, do I? I think I can wait one more turn. Yeah, I think that'll be it for this turn, guys. Um, let's end the turn see if we get any messages. Mao Zedong is concerned. Oh yeah, okay, that's the communists. Norway German convoy is disrupted. That's okay. Logistics to level two for the Japanese, and that's it. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this little series, or well, going to be a long series. Um, it's going well now, despite a poor start. Um, give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying this. A comment would be really nice. Motivates me to keep the series going and keep uploading etc um, subscribe and ring the bell if you want notification of future videos thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one